everyone welcome to a new vlog and i am coming to you from brighton and it's a beautiful sunny day so let's go and enjoy it now it says it's gonna be 18 degrees today so i'm not sure whether to bring a cardi or not but the plan is there's this vintage place that i want to go to in brighton just in the north lanes i went to yesterday Oh my god i struck gold um i want to go there whilst my friend sophie is at the gym gonna head to hove together uh, i've never been to hove before been to brighton a few times but hove is like a little bit along from brighton so we're gonna walk along the seafront i'm just gonna show you my footstool so backstory is i've been looking for a footstool for a while and um i have been i'm quite picky with furniture and i only want to kind of invest in pieces i really love instead of sort of you know getting ikea bits or you know something that i don't genuinely really enjoy and obviously i'm trying to get everything second hand and i saw this footstool at i don't actually know what it's called it's at 33 and 34 on oh my gosh what's the road called i'll put it here I'll put it here if you're interested, if you're in Brighton. You probably know about it. There's loads of like antique places, but I'll show you, oh, I'll show you it now. Here she is. Pretty simple. I mean, it's it's nothing crazy, but it's this beautiful kind of like, it's not velvet, it's like a crushed kind of velvet almost. Um, and it's got this little frill along the bottom and it also opens up for some storage. I just think it's beautiful. So simple, a uh, nice neutral color. And I think it's gonna go really nicely in our living room so yes that's that and it was only 10 pounds winner winner chicken dinner and this is the cutest little kitty she's a long-haired kitty cat so she does kind of long-haired cats and velvet pillows don't don't really mix but she is angelic when she sleeps so yeah holding down the fort kate if you watch this keeping her keeping her company she basically sleeps all day this cat it's supposed to be cat sitting, by the way. I didn't, I didn't, um, I say supposed to be. We are, I'm not, I'm here for the good times. I'm here with my friend Soph and we're cat sitting for another friend. So, um, yeah, she is very sweet. When she's, when she's awake, she meows like a little bark. I'll see if I can capture it on camera. Um, but it's a kind of meow because Finn, my cat, doesn't meow unless he really wants something. I get a bit confused because it's like she doesn't really want anything she's just sort of talking she's just like but it sounds like she's she she's she wants to tell you something and it's like what what do you want what is it okay i'm gonna cover this in a blanket just so she doesn't she doesn't get her lovely cat hair on it bye effie bye bye sorry i don't mean to disturb you don't mean to disturb you she just sleeps all day that is the life isn't it i want to be reborn as a cat Okay, enough faffing around. I'm going to have a big glass of water because it's a hot day and then we're going to leave the house. Bye, Effie. Still asleep. <laughs> because I need to run and get the train so I chucked on my comfy jumper but um, that was 
incredible, highly recommend the panko squash bao bun especially, although so love the um, mushroom one, but my favourite was the panko, so do with that what you will, and the kimchi was really good too. Also, how kind is this, they've left out tampons and liners, organic liners as well, organic tampons, so fascinating, these are the bathrooms if you're wondering. I'm gonna go for a wee now. Really? Yeah. Free music. <laughs> this is what being old is going to be like. Yeah, watching Glass and Roof on the telly. <laughs> Do you like that? Temple massage. Temple massage. Do you like that? Do you like that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you friends? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Let me pause this. A little bit of Reading and Leeds coverage because we watched Sam Fender last night and I just wanted to see some of the headliners. So I'm watching Stormzy. It's very good. He's a great performer, as we all know. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I'm here because it's the day after uh the night before and i'm back from hove now and i thought i would do a little well actually i stayed in brighton but we went to hove yesterday and i thought i would just do a little haul of what i picked up in the little vintage markets because i feel like i didn't get a chance to fully show you what i picked up i showed you this footstool which i managed to get back on the tube it was a struggle because i had this my suitcase another big bag another big bag and i'm only one small person and i'm not very strong so um yeah with that said it was difficult but i'm so happy with it it looks wait how do i oh yeah there we go it looks it fits in the room perfectly like as in the the ambiance the decor it fits in really well with and i love it so yeah that's that that was a tenner what a bargain and i picked uh actually should i do all the furniture first i'll do all the furniture first so i got this from docklands i think it was called which is a vintage store um, I think it's called Docklands and they had loads of furniture actually and pretty it's pretty well priced I mean compared to London most things are well priced but um, yeah I think £10 for this is pretty darn good and there was a vintage sale on the Saturday so there was just a, a road in the lanes where there were sort of little uh, pop-up vintage stalls so I also bought from that same stretch this um, I was thinking to hold wine but actually once I bought it I realised this storage is actually not big enough. It's more so for like magazines and books and whatnot. And um, yeah, storage of papers, but I just think it's so pretty. It's got this like this sage green colour and I've given it a wash, but it still needs a bit of a clean. But... <gasps> oh no, let me take these out. It's really pretty. And I thought for sort of documents and cookbooks and whatnot, that would be a good little piece of storage. So this was quite cumbersome to bring back on the tube as well. It was an eventful journey. Also, because it's bank holiday weekend, very, very, very full train. Lots of drunk people, lots of screaming kids, but it's all good, we made it in the end. And then I also bought some dried flowers. I feel like dried flowers are such a nice touch because they're obviously more realistic than fake flowers, but they last a lot longer than fresh flowers. So they these were 15 pound for the two bunches, but I actually think considering they will last a long time because they're dried, I think it was a good deal. And these were also from that vintage market. And they are so pretty. I think these are like bunny tails, I think they're called. No, that's probably not the official name, but some gypsophilia, gypsophilia. And I don't know what these are, but they're very pretty. I love the colour, the colour selection, the pinks. And then I picked up also from the vintage market, they had some sort of stalls with clothes and I picked up this blouse because i mean it's beautiful and i think it's a really nice pattern can't really see it in this light but it's this sort of pale blue and purple floral pattern and nice sleeves but it's so soft i feel like a lot of vintage clothes these days um i don't know what it is but i've just noticed that going around vintage stores the clothes feel very plasticky and like they don't feel very breathable they don't feel soft they feel really synthetic and almost like costumey. I don't know if anyone also has these feelings, but 
Um, yeah, I, I always try and feel the fabric and kind of imagine how breathable it's going to be. This one doesn't have a material tag, but it's always a good habit to look at the material tag to see what it's made out of, how it's going to wear and whatnot. And this is really, really soft. So I thought this was quite a nice little funky 70s piece and it's buttons all the way down. Um, and this was a tenner, I believe. Oh no, £12. And I did actually have a bit of a situation because... It wasn't this stool, I think it was the stool next to it, but there was, I was filming, I took a little clip of the stool and it was like the end of the rail and there was this man stood not in shot of where I was filming on the rail and he was like, <laughs> I took like a two second clip, two second clip and he said, are you filming me? So I was like, it wasn't the owner of the stool, mind, it was someone just standing looking at the clothes and he said, are you filming me? I said, no, I was just filming a little clip of the, the end of the rail. And he was like, was I in it? And I said, no, I was filming the rail. I wasn't get, I wasn't trying to film people. I was just filming the rail. He was like, people tell me when they see me on social media, they tell me. I said, do you want to see the clip? Because I, I feel like there's a, do you want to just see the clip? Because you weren't in it. And he was like, no, I'm, I'm, you know, no, as long as I'm not in it. And I was like, yeah, you're not in it. And he was like, I'm not trying to be offensive. And I just said, it's fine. And I just walked away. But it was just so odd because I did, at, at the time I thought, wow, he's got a very big sense of self because it sounds like he thought I was filming him. Why would I feel, I don't, why would I film him? And then I, the more I thought about it, I thought from what he was saying, maybe people have filmed him before and maybe, I don't know, poked fun at him or something. And then that kind of has led him to, I love how Stormzy is just behind me, but um, has led him to be super sensitive about it. Because otherwise, why would you make such a big deal out of it? It was quite obvious I wasn't filming him. It was very obvious I wasn't filming him. So I think he was just super sensitive about it. But it was just very odd. And it just, I was just, after the week I've had, after the week I've had, I was like, it only takes one person to push you over the edge. <laughs> and so I just thought, you know what? Don't let him. Just walk away. Just walk away. Be the bigger person. Just walk away. And yeah, afterwards, I've actually felt quite sorry for him because it sounded like someone must have filmed him before and he saw it on social media or something. Anyway, that's that was the story behind this. And then last but not least, I bought a swimming costume. And I don't know how you guys feel about buying a secondhand swimming costume. I had second. I kind of thought, is this odd? Is this strange or is it? Is it not strange? But I suppose if you wash it, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's this really funky, almost like 80s tropical vibe. And I just really like it. I love the kind of high square neckline. It's got a low back. It's got these little booby pads. And it looks nice as kind of like a body, I think, with some um, like tucked into jeans. It looks quite cool. And this was 50% off at Beyond Retro. So it was £7 or so, which isn't too bad for something cosy. And it feels really good. It feels really soft, and good quality. So yeah, a little bit of a blue funky moment to go with the old name channel change, channel name change, bottle blue. I'm going to bid you farewell now, talk to your ear off, and I'm going to finish watching Stormzy's set. And I hope you've had a lovely bank holiday to whatever you get up to. I'm actually supposed to be going to a festival tomorrow. Don't know if that will come to fruition because... I basically don't want to be stupid with the whole COVID thing. And uh, I don't know, I've heard people going to Boardmasters, which is a festival in Cornwall and quite a few people getting COVID from it. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried about the crowds. I, I'll be honest, I'm a bit of a warrior. And it's not so much about me getting COVID, it's about passing it on to somebody else because I'm double jabbed, but you know what I mean. So anyway, I might be going to a festival tomorrow in London. I might not be. But if I do, I might take you along. I might not. <laughs> so many unknowns. So many unknowns. But yeah, however you've spent your bank holiday weekend, if you're in the UK, I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.